What's up guys, Acorn here. Uh, tonight we are going to be playing Prison Architect. Let me pause real quick. This is a game that is on Steam right now. You can also buy it on the Prison Architect website. Um, it is in early alpha. It's not technically released yet, but you can go ahead and buy it and start playing. Basically, you build a prison, you get prisoners. It's kind of a management type thing, mixed between, uh, I guess, like a, a prison tycoon type thing and The Sims, because you're building up the house kind of like you did in The Sims. Anyway, I kind of already started. As you can see, these white lines everywhere. I did the planning, which is this button right here, is where you can lay out walls and stuff without actually having your workers build stuff. Uh, it's a huge help, uh, so you can get the the dimensions of your of your prison laid out. As you see, I got all my rooms laid out, and what I'm gonna do is lay down some foundations. My workers are going to get to work. I don't have any prisoners yet, as you can see up here. Uh, I'll be getting eight prisoners at 8 a.m. the following morning, so 23 hours, technically 23 minutes real time uh, from now. Uh, actually, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to names in the game, we're going to find Augustus Tabernacle here. Names in the game is something... Um, Users, players can actually submit names and profiles for prisoners, and the developers will put it in the game. And here we've got Augustus Tabernacle, which is a prisoner that me and a friend of mine designed or wrote. Uh, former CIA operative frequently used his agent status to recreate his favorite action movie scenes from the 1980s. He's incarcerated after causing considerable collateral damage, both in monetary value and human lives. He also enjoys long walks on the beach. He's awesome. Anyway, uh, you can take these names in the games, choose one, and select transfer, which that means up here, special transfer, Augustus Tabernacle is going to show up with the other seven prisoners at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Got to pause again. And yeah, so while we're waiting for him and the rest, Something else I'm going to do. Um, going to grants. I'm going to accept these grants, which will give me more money. That's just kind of a thing they have in the game right now to help you along, since it's not technically a full game yet. It's still an alpha. So they have a couple things that aren't working. There's a lot of bugs. And there's a few little, like, easy, kind of cheaty ways to get things done. But they're kind of wanting to show off a lot of the game. Um, I'm sure some things will be restricted once the actual game is released. Alright, so, let's unpause. You see my workers over here are unloading the trucks. I have the foundation set. You know, let's speed it up a little bit. And they should start building here pretty soon. kind of like these guys. Kind of remind me of the Doozers from Fraggle Rock. You guys remember Fraggle Rock? I sort of love that show when I was little. But yeah, the Doozers, the little, the little green guys. These guys aren't green, but so I'm gonna call these guys Doozers from now on because that's a lot more interesting than workmen. All right, and we'll just kind of watch as they do their thing. Oh man, look the Doozers go! They're Busy little bees, aren't they? Uh, they're laying down the foundations right now. Um, you can see up top, I laid down where they will put the pump and the generator to provide water and electricity. All right, the foundations are down now. I'm going to start putting in doors and some of the inner walls. Uh, divide the rooms up. Uh, and let's see, what else is going on? I'm going to bring in a warden here in a few seconds. He's going to provide uh, research for different types of prison things. You can see I'm building the holding cell up there in the corner. In a couple seconds you'll see I'll have to actually expand it. I didn't have it big enough at first. Um, 
Down below, they have finished up the kitchen and the canteen. Uh, they're building the shower right now where those dirty prisoners can get clean. Two, three, one, two, three. Alright, and here we are. Our prisoners are set to arrive very soon. Um, as you can see, the prison isn't complete yet, but I have the basics down. I have a couple guards, I have a holding cell, um, kitchen, canteen, and shower. It's pretty much all you really need to start out with. Um, you can see up here I have basic detention center. Actually, the only thing I need is a yard, which I'm going to designate that right now. This is going to be our yard. Basically, you just need walls and behind a door to be a yard, which the doors for the actual prison art will count for that. Alright, uh, let's see. The workers need something to do. I'll pause it for a sec. I'm actually going to have them start building materials. Building these other rooms so that when tomorrow comes around, I'll have room for even more prisoners. And I'm leaving a space open for the doors because there's a small little glitch where when you put a door over an already created wall, it it just screwed things up a little bit, and I'm just trying to avoid that. I've already had to rebuild one wall because of my holding, so I don't want to rebuild anymore. Now, you only get eight prisoners per day, but I'm kind of future-proofing my prison. Even though I don't have a whole lot of cells, it only lasts a few days, hopefully some prisoners will... Um, serve their sentence and leave. Uh, some might even die if we have a riot or something, which is very possible. But then I've got all this other space that I can build onto it. I might use this down here and build it to a hallway, or maybe this room up here. I haven't really decided what these corners are going to be for yet, but that's something we can decide later on. Alright, unpause. Ooh, and here come the prisoners. Should be coming down in a bus right here. Yeah, there they are. Doo -doo -doo. And you can see our little doozers are going to work on the walls I just told them to build. And we won't designate those as cells until they're completely built and done. Otherwise, the guards are going to start putting prisoners in there uh, before they're finished. And they'll be able to get out and run amok, which we don't want. Alright, who have we got here? Hawkins, John Hawkins, Ian Steele. Uh, I don't see Mr. Tabernacle. I guess that didn't work for some reason. I'll tell you what, we're going to try it again. Augustus Tabernacle transfer. Right. So hopefully he'll show up tomorrow. What's he doing? He's going somewhere. There's not really much he can go. There's only the one door in or out, and you need a key in order to do that. Which only the guards have keys. Oh, I need a jail door there. That is a huge oversight on my part. There we go. I'm gonna have one of the doozers go up there and put that in. Okay, wait, in the yard, we're going to put. Where is it? Yard, yard. I put a weight bench. I'll put a couple. And some phone booths so we can call their loved ones. You can see the chef here is cooking up some food. Getting ready for meal time. I still don't have a door. Ah, there. That loser is going to put it in. I kind of wish. Like the workers and the ward and stuff, they had names. It'd be just kind of a neat little touch. Like all the prisoners have names and backgrounds. Actually, the pause, you can click on them and see. It's just kind of a, a normal prisoner. It's not one of the one of the submitted ones. Uh, 
right. Here's one. Uh, experimental chef. Yeah, I gotta keep him away from the kitchen. Following a decent incident involving a primary school with a blender. Uh, I don't like that. He looks kind of creeper-ish. Alright. But, go down here. Nope, down here to the reports. And see our regime. This is our schedule. Right now they're in free time. Uh, they'll get to eat at 1. And they'll eat again at 8. This is basically their allotted time for the day. Um, as we unlock more things, uh, we'll be able to assign them different things. Um, like down here we have work, but we haven't unlocked that yet. If we can get started doing that though, I've already had the warden unlock maintenance and health. So now we can hire a, uh, a foreman and he can research these things over here. Which, prison labor will be good, that means we can put our prisoner to work. Uh, we'll need a cleaner too, because the prison will get dirty. And of course we need help, we need some doctors for when the impending riot eventually does happen. So actually, I'm going to put in just a regular door here, as well as uh, we'll put a medical bed, I rotate it down here and up there, and hire a doctor. So I can designate this room as where is it? Where is it? Infirmary. Do do do. Now see, it won't become an official infirmary until we get that medical bit in there. But one of the doozers should be coming in doing that pretty soon. Uh, we got our prisoners just milling about in there. Uh, nothing too exciting so far, which is good. Pause it again. I'm gonna start setting up these cells over here. Each cell needs a toilet. Gotta be able to do their business. i tell you what, I'll go ahead and do these down here too, just while I'm at it. Alright. Also, each room needs a bed. And that's pretty much everything a cell needs. It's just a toilet and a bed. For pooping and sleeping. That's all the prisoners get to do. Oh, they'll come to the yard and they'll be able to do some stuff there. Let's unpause. He's putting in the medical bed, so now it's an official infirmary. Infirmary, excuse me. But, going back to bureaucracy, we gotta unlock some of this other stuff. Let's go for security so we can get riot guards and deployment set up. And we need to put in another office so we can get a foreman and start researching some of the other stuff. So, objects. Uh, we need an office desk. This guy's gonna want to sit over here. Actually, no. He does not want his back to the door. We are in a prison, after all. I need a chair. Put it there. And a filing cabinet. And of course, a door. Staff door only. No prisoners in there. Uh, we will designate that as an office. Which again, it won't become an official office. And see, it's got this little warning sign until uh, we get all those items in there. But will we be able to go ahead and. No, we cannot. Oh, yeah, we can. Hire a foreman, set him in there. Probably will not be able to research anything. Really? Oh yeah, he can. Okay, but that's his office now. See, it's his foreman's office. And there's the warden's office. Uh, where are the prisoners going? Oh, it's time to eat. Yep. Chef, put the food out. They'll be grabbing their trays, grabbing some some nom noms. Hopefully, they behave themselves. Might have to put in some uh, some metal detectors there. Uh, prisoners like to. Like to smuggle things. Get another guard and set him here in the canteen. Gotta keep an eye on these guys. Where are you going, dude? Worthless. 
All right, I gotta get working on all these cells. Let's see, pause again, get the utilities going. Need water to these. And this is where the toilets are going, so I'll just go ahead and do these as well. You can see the, the utilities already put in, all the piping and all the electric. Oh, I need a big pipe down this way. Alright, and small pipes. That's. And I'll unpause and go ahead and put it on super speed. So some of these things can get done. No emergencies so far, which is good, but in my experience, just all of a sudden shit will go down and it's hard to get control again. See, these guards are just milling about outside. I don't like that. They need to be watching these prisoners. Alright, you guys are still researching. Oh, he needs a filing cabinet. Dude, where's his filing cabinet? The doozers. Oh, there he is. I was going to say, the doozers are lazy. Alright, yard time. They're working out. Dude, one of you needs to go in there. Thank you. Gotta keep an eye on these guys. These are prisoners. Not friendly people. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, read CEO's letter and do that. Wait. We need to unlock finance and hire an accountant. Razor. Two doctors. I can put another doctor in there. More heals are better, and we need a psychologist. That will have to wait a little bit. As soon as we get some of these cells done, I will designate these rooms as cells, and hopefully the guards will start transferring these guys from the main holding cell into their own individual cells. God, look how dirty this place is already. Man, I need to unlock janitors. Alright, doozers are busy, busy. As usual, it's like when you start having dudes are just milling about. That's when you gotta you gotta start firing them or giving them more to do. Like, see where are these guys? Oh, okay, they're loading up trash. See how that guy? He had to be let in by the by the guard because only guards have keys. I have played before where uh, the prisoners are getting naked. They're going to shower. We're not gonna follow them. Uh, it's not that type of video. Sorry. If you're here for that type of thing, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Alright, the dudes are milling about. We need something to do. Um, ah, we need doors for these cells. Can't just have prisoners walking about on their own. Door, 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 door. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead and speed it up so we can start one finishing this up.